How the gold has lost its luster. The fine gold becomes dull. The sacred gems are scattered at the head of every street. How precious sons of Zion, once worth their weight in gold, are now considered as pots of clay, a work of a potter's hands. Even jackals offer their breasts to nurse the young. But my people have become heartless like ostriches in the desert. Because of thirst, the infant's tongue sticks to the roof of its mouth. The children beg for bread, but no one gives it to them. Those who once ate delicacies are destitute in the streets. Those nurtured in purple now lie on ash heaps. The punishment of my people is greater than that of Sodom, which was overthrown in a moment without a hand turned to help her. Their princes were brighter than snow and whiter than milk. Their bodies were more ruby than rubies, their appearance like sapphires. But now they are blacker than soot. They are not recognized in the streets. Their skin has shriveled on their bones and has become dry as a stick. And those killed by the sword are better off than those who die of famine. Racked with hunger, they waste away for lack of food from the field. With their own hands, compassionate women have cooked their own children who became their food when my people were destroyed. The Lord has given full vent of his wrath. He has poured out his fierce anger. He kindled a fire in Zion that consumed her foundations. The king of the earth did not believe, nor did any of the world's people, that the enemies and foes could enter the gates of Jerusalem. But it happened because of the sins of her prophets and the inequities of her priests, who shed within her the blood of the righteous. And now they grope through the streets like men who are blind. They are so defiled with blood that no one dares to touch their garments. Go away, you are unclean, men cry to them. Away, away, do not touch us. When they flee and wander about, people among the nations say, They can stay here no longer. The Lord himself has scattered them. He no longer watches over them. The priests are shown no honor and the elders no favor. Moreover, our eyes failed looking in vain for help. From the towers we watched for a nation that could not save us. Men stalked us at every step, so we could not walk in our streets. Our end was near, our days were numbered, for our end had come. And our pursuers were swifter than eagles in the sky. They chased us over mountains and lay wait for us in the desert. The Lord's anointed, our very life breath was caught in their traps. We thought that under his shadow we would live among the nations. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. You who live in the land of Uz, but to you also the cup will be passed, and you will be drunk and stripped naked. O daughter of Zion, your punishment will end. He will not prolong your exile, but O daughter of Edom, he will punish your sin and expose your wickedness. Whatever happens in this election, that's God's judgment on this people.